Hey Capricorn, how are you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general tarot reading for September going into October 2022 for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to take a look at what could be going in um, in your love life, what's going on, what's coming in. Um, please do take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your reading, it's just not your reading, right? Um, this is again Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You may be dealing with a cross watcher as well. So you may be dealing with a Capricorn. Let's give this another shuffle. If you want a personal tarot reading, all the details are in the description box. I will have your bonus extended very soon, sometime this week for October 2022. All right. All right. Sorry about that squeaking door. <laughs> All right, Capricorn, the biggest challenge for you guys is the Three of Pentacles. So it's telling me that maybe there's a challenge to get along with someone. Maybe your viewpoints, your values, your perspectives, your beliefs are very different. And it feels like there's someone that you're really trying to merge with, okay? Maybe merge money, finances. This could be just um, some kind of co-parenting relationship you have with this person. It could be like trying to meet a goal, like work together as a team. Maybe you're having to compromise a little bit more than you would like to, Capricorn, with regard to someone. So in the past, Capricorn, we have this beautiful Ace of Cups. Maybe you started a new relationship for some of you. This could be a partnership. This could be some kind of connection where there is some kind of emotions shared. You care for this person very deeply. They care for you. Um, I do feel like there has been some kind of division, though. So maybe you guys have this love for each other, but um, maybe there is some kind of disconnection. Maybe someone has um, said, you know what, this isn't for me because there's the energy of like pushing away. It makes me feel like something was surely going to start with the Ace of Cups, but the other person was kind of fighting it. You know, I'm seeing one person fighting it. And I'm seeing also a lot of overthinking, anxiety, stress. Um, Capricorn, maybe you were in a point where you had to let this go because it brought forth too much stress to your life. Okay, the Eight of Swords is just, this is too much for me. I can't bear this. So... Let's take a look at the current energy. Oops, we got the Ace of Wands. So maybe there's a new beginning on the horizon. Something is coming in very fiery, very, very quickly. Um, it almost makes me feel like someone could be coming up with a strategy or plan how to overcome something here, especially if there were blockages or some kind of stagnancy you and this person reach. Ace of Wands is telling me there's a lot of physical attraction, a lot of great chemistry, a desire, a burning desire to move forward past something. And we have the Judgment. The star in reverse and the seven of pentacles. So this makes me feel like someone has been, been putting off making a big decision. Maybe a decision was made in the past and it wasn't the best decision. Someone is going back on a decision that may have been made. Um, and with the seven of pentacles, after deep, deep thinking and reflecting, there's been time to think about what do I want? What are my values? Um, what do I see myself seven, ten years from now? What does that look like? And it just feels to me like with the star in reverse, maybe someone had lost that hope or dream. Maybe they felt like they couldn't have have this fantasy um, type of connection or relationship. Maybe they felt like they weren't deserving of it, right? The star could be very fantasy or very, um, I would say magical. You know what I mean? I'm getting the energy of Capricorn. Maybe someone felt like they weren't, they weren't ready for this. Like this, or this is just something that was uncomfortable for them to embrace. Okay. So when the judgment comes out in reverse, it makes me feel like someone is going back on a decision that was made, ace of wands coming in fairly quickly, um, and it's it's regarding planting seeds for the future. It's like this person may have a different outlook on things, and they want something here to pay off for the long run. So the energy for you, Capricorn, the Empress here, the Five of Pentacles, maybe this is someone that you're feeling left out in the cold from. This could be a father figure. It could be a masculine energy. It could be somebody you have a child with. Um, some of you are the emperor, right? You may be in the emperor where you're really taking back control. You're directing, you know, your future. You know what you want. You're very determined. You're, you're in that leadership energy, right? Making good decisions. And maybe because you had no choice, you're rising above a situation, right? After someone may have disappointed you and put you out in the cold. The Nine of Swords, and that could be the case because there's still some anxieties and overthinking stress about something that may have not worked out. There could be like that energy of it affecting your, your eating habits, your sleeping habits, um, affecting you more than you may than you may even think, and you know, your productivity every day. So give me the energy of your person, Capricorn. 
All right, the devil. So Capricorn, I think this is your energy, right? <laughs> they may be certainly still thinking about you, connect to you, right? Very, very strongly. The devil comes with codependencies or even like, you know, bondage. You know, it feels like maybe your person tried to let you go, but they realize they can't. Um, there could be some kind of some level of toxicity even, you know, maybe they're going through something here. This could be self-limiting thoughts, beliefs. This could be obsessions, addictions. Uh, we do have the queen of wands. So you could be dealing with that fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, or maybe they were dealing with the fire sign, right? Next to the devil, that could be like a third party, something here where there was some kind of temptation, seduction here. Um, we also have the two of wands. So that could be the case where someone is actively trying to make better decisions. Maybe there is a level of indecisiveness in their life. Maybe they've been very indecisive about you and someone else. And the two of wands makes me feel like there's something here where they're having to move forward, but they just don't know which way to go. They're just not certain as to how to move forward. It may start off with an apology, page of cups. So maybe this person, Capricorn, wants to apologize for something they did in the past that wasn't the right thing to do. Maybe they made some poor decisions and they may have even chose someone else over you with the queen of wands and the two of wands, right? And now they're realizing that, yeah, that was definitely not what I was supposed to do. That was the wrong decision. And now I know of it the devil so this person could definitely be coming in to want to express their feelings profess their love for you page of cups i'm sorry i want your forgiveness um i don't know what i was thinking right and they're coming in very 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 motivated they desire something they want it very much eight of pentacles they also could be showing up with money <laughs> resources they could be showing you that you know what i'm willing to dedicate something to i'm willing to show you show up eight of pentacles is putting in the work energy effort into doing something with the wheel and the six of wands, it does look like this good good fortune, good change coming in. The wheel is moving in your favor, Capricorn. So it's leading me to believe that something is happening in your favor, moving in the right direction, in divine timing. It's going to bring some kind of good energy, positivity. Six of wands is achievement, success. Maybe there's something here that you wanted from this person. You're finally getting it. Um, Eight of Pentacles, they're, they're taking, you know, they're putting in the work. It may take some time. The Eight of Pentacles could be maybe something that happened right away, but they're surely going to show you that, you know, this is what I want. This this means something to me, okay? You're of value to me. So I see a lot of good changes coming in. Eight of Wands is change. Six of Wands is victory, right? So let's go and jump right in. Messages for Capricorn, please. eight of pentacles eight of pentacles yeah that's definitely this person showing showing up action right um let's see what else we can find out putting in the work for sure three of pentacles let's see what the three of pentacles is in a challenging position king of wands again fire energy leo sag aries this could be someone who's very action oriented king of wands wants what he wants and that could be the challenge you know are you going to take action because maybe capricorn you're at a point where you're not going to it would be this person having to fuel the fire right having to reignite this king of wands it's like they're gonna have to show up and show you how much they want this three of pentacles and how much they're willing to co cooperate collaborate compromise in the past, give me that energy, the Six of Pentacles. There could have been some serious issues with reciprocity. Maybe this person not showing up for you the way you needed them to. The Hermit, and it even feels like you may have felt alone. The Hermit could be, you know, I feel like I'm doing this alone. I feel like I'm in a relationship, but I'm alone most nights of the week. The Hermit, it may have also given you much time to think about something. Maybe someone needed time to think about what they wanted. And so the Six of Pentacles, it may have felt like, you were asking for too much. You may have felt like you were demanding or, or just wanting something that you just weren't getting. You know, the Six of Pentacles could just be like you feeling like you were crumbed to some degree or just not getting your needs met. You may have felt like you had to share your time um, with someone else in your life or some kind of something in your life. This could be work. This could be their own interests and hobbies and they just weren't putting enough time with you because the lovers came out in the verse. So it feels like they were turning their back on the connection four of cups you may have felt rejected unappreciated undesired uncared for you weren't getting your needs met especially when it came to emotional matters emotional support them being there for you okay could be a virgo so give me the ace of wands what do we need to know about this new beginning ace of wands again the eight of pentacles came out right putting in the work time energy effort i'm willing to show you show up right show up at the job and with my toolbox in hand <laughs> all right let's take a look at what the judgment is about some kind of redoing of a decision Ace of Swords, the Moon. 
So they could be cutting out of secrets, things that may have kept from you, maybe things that you thought was deceptive that you didn't trust. The moon could be fears. Maybe this person was afraid, okay? Even maybe that's why something didn't work in the past. But the moon could be maybe things they've kept from you, secrets that is now coming out, ace of sword to be dealt with. It also feels like this could be coming out because your person wants to now, you know, explain to you why maybe something wasn't working in the past, why they weren't able to invest the way they wanted to, the seven of pentacles. It's almost like an explanation as to, well, why I wasn't there for you, why I wasn't able to be there for you, when you needed me the most, the star universe, why I gave up on this connection, right? Why I didn't believe in it. So the moon could be some things from their, again, insecurities, could be their own fears, traumas, things that they're now bringing light to or they're addressing and they want to talk about it so there's a lot of communication coming in it feels like it could be giving you much needed clarity as to why again bad decisions were made in the past it could bring um some kind of definitely reasoning i'm getting reason as to why something didn't happen all right let's take a look at the devil the magician in the verse and the strength now for some of you you know it almost makes you feel like capricorn you may have um, some issues with trusting this person, the magician and the devil could definitely be like a manipulator or someone who wants things to work out for their own good. Um, but it feels like, you know, it's all about them. It could be a little bit of a trickster energy for some of you. And the strength card, you know, it doesn't make me feel like some of you, you may have felt like I've been here, done that. Like you can't trust this person. You know, the strength card could be resisting and restraining yourself from even considering this person again. So this could be a Gemini, could be a Leo. Give me the two of wands. It could be a decision you're having to make or your person's having to make. It could be regret again, related to a queen of wands. Maybe there's someone else in the picture that maybe they again they chose over you or went in the wrong direction. And there's a lot of regrets about it. A lot of disappointment, a lot of guilt, shame. I can't believe I did this. <laughs> so emotional. A lot of emotions because we do have the five of cups and the page of cups. So if this person has made some poor decisions in the past that has caused this connection, especially as it relates to maybe a feminine energy or another a queen of wands or someone in their life, it just makes me feel like there's a lot of regret like i shouldn't have done that what was i thinking i wish i can go back in time and maybe take some kind of different action this could also just be a fire sign doing that okay page of cups you know what do we need to know about that ace of wands it feels like your person definitely is saying you know i'm gonna apologize because um ooh. i'm gonna apologize because i want to i want something to move forward right the ace of wands is like i need to address something and the only way for me to maybe have a new beginning firing your beginning with the ace of wands is for me to apologize for me to right my wrongs to confess to tell capricorn how much i care for them and how sorry i am so this page of cups could be wanting you know this person wanting to open up the door from something that has stopped working and eight of pentacles again putting in the work the world in reverse and the page of pentacles there is some kind of offer coming in some kind of communication a message it is something tangible page of pentacles just makes me feel like someone is wanting to show their dedication show up for you you know put in the work to show you that this is something i want this is something i take serious the world in verse is definitely telling me this is something that's going you're going back to Maybe a psycho chapter with this person, a past relationship, past over. There's something that has to be revisited. It has been maybe finished very abruptly or something was left unresolved. There's some unfinished business here. But it does feel like it's going to play out well because the wheel is here and the six of wands. So there is some kind of victory achievement you're going to be getting with regard to a situation. And the wheel is some kind of moving moving towards some kind of positive change coming into your life. Good fortune. And um, again, it's coming from this person putting in the work and showing up for you the way that maybe you wanted them to in the past but they couldn't it will start off small page of pentacles could be literally a message coming through but there is stability tied to it okay so capricorn that is what i have for you guys i hope you enjoyed this reading like share comment and subscribe take care